Hi, this is Mark Kemper with EMS, and in this video we're going to demonstrate the Surfazer Long Range 3D Scanner. For this particular demo, we're going to do the 100 HSX. There's actually numerous models of the Surfazer available, but it's basically a long range scanner for doing things like aircraft, as you see here, large vehicles, large industrial equipment, etc. So what we'll do in the videos, we'll kind of go through and show you uh, how the scanner works. We'll take a look at the data uh, and the whole process of uh, converting the data and then using it for things like reverse engineering and inspection. Okay, so let's start and talk about how the Surfazer 3D scanner works. Now the Surfazer is what's called a hemispherical scanner. And basically what that means is the whole unit or the body uh, rotates around uh, 360 degrees. Now at the same time, you can see in the center, there's a mirror uh, or a lens in there with a mirror and that mirror is on a 45. So the laser is actually inside the unit and is shot out towards that mirror with the mirror being on the 45 and the mirror spinning around as well. The mirror then reflects the laser uh, basically out and it's basically pulsing one point at a time um, and the mirror is again reflecting it until it hits an object and it's, then it's basically uh, getting a return back to the sensor and it's basically measuring the distance. So it's firing out up to 1.2 million points per second. It's rotating 360 degrees in one direction and 360 degrees in the other direction. Now, as you can see, though, it can only collect 270 degrees uh, in the one direction because obviously you've got the, the scanner underneath itself there and it you know, can't scan underneath itself. But again, it's basically firing out a point, hitting the object, and then measuring the, you know, the distance back and doing this very, very rapidly. So uh, as you see here, it's going to collect everything uh, in, this, uh, in this hangar, including the aircraft, the walls, the ceiling, everything. Now, Surfazer has been making hemispherical scanners for over 10 years now. And if you talk to anybody in this industry uh, that's been around, what they'll tell you about the Surfazer, it, it, it offers by far the highest accuracy, the highest resolution, and really unmatched data quality. There is no other product like the Surfazer, and it's really why it's used for high uh, accuracy, high quality reverse engineering uh, and inspection. It is considered a metrology tool for large format scanning. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the features of the Surfazer. As you can see, it's a pretty compact size. And with the uh, small case, you can actually uh, take it on an airplane and uh, put it in the overhead. So it's easy to travel with it. Um, and uh, it, uh, you'll also notice it uh, is battery powered. Uh, you can plug it in, but it does run off batteries. And if you have a few batteries with you, you can basically go all day. Now, the other nice thing about the system is it uses Wi-Fi to communicate uh, with a phone or a tablet. So you can basically remotely uh, tell it to scan. You can do a preview and window in on an area and then just go and scan that area and do a bunch of other functions right from the tablet. So setting it up, you can either have it um, on a tripod, you can put it just down on the ground, um, or you can use like a jib arm system. Um, you can use a uh, magnetic mount. There's all kinds of ways. Um, you can basically put the, uh, the Surfazer in any orientation you want to run it, uh, but very easy to set up and get started and do your scanning. Now, the reason why uh, you want to be able to put the scanner on the ground and up high uh, in other locations is because scanners are line of sight. Basically, the scanner has to be able to see what it's scanning. So what that uh, requires us to do with large objects is move the scanner around both in high and low positions. Uh, for example, with this aircraft, we're going to need to take about uh, 30 scans to, to get data on the whole uh, aircraft. And what the scanner basically is doing is just collecting points. As we talked about, it's shooting out that laser and collecting you know, millions and millions of points. And we need to have a good way to align all those data sets because 
um, as you take each one, they really don't have any uh, correlation to each other. So as you see here, we've got spheres on the ground or targets. And basically, we're going to use those to align the data sets because in each scan, we're going to pick up uh, at least four common spheres and that will allow us to align them. Now, we like to have more than that, and that's why you see so many of them on the ground. You can also use flat targets uh, as well, um, and uh, those can be used. Uh, but we use typically for aircraft and stuff we're moving around, spheres is the best way to go. And uh, we'll bring some of that data in to software that can identify and find the center of those spheres and then do target registration and align all of that data for us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the different model surfacers there are. Currently there's five different model surfacers and they're really broken down into two different groups as far as the applications you would use them for. Uh, the Model 10 and Model 400 are primarily used for AEC. That would be things like building structures, uh, civil, architectural, things like that. And then the 75U uh, Ultra Short Range, the 100 HSX Short Range, and the 100 HSX Intermediate Range are really more for mechanical engineering, uh, metrology, reverse engineering, more of a, uh, things like aircraft, uh, vehicles, um, you know, marine products, big industrial pumps, you know, power generation, things like that, um, you know, a little bit uh, smaller stuff. And if you look specifically at the range, and basically what the range is, is, you know, basically how far the scanner can see, you can see with the ultra short range, it's very, very uh, short. Uh, and that is really meant for, um, you know, putting the scanner inside things or getting up very close on smaller objects. Um, that could be inside a vehicle, uh, like a military vehicle or a car or something like that. The short range, uh, you can see, will go out to about 7 meters. And again, that's just how far the scanner will see and basically get a return back. So that'll go out to about 7 meters. And then the, the IR, depending on the settings, will go out as far as, as 50 meters. The uh, AEC uh, systems, the Model 10, will go out as far as 110 meters while the uh, Model 400 will go out as far as 250 meters. Uh, the yellow systems all have an integrated color camera system, so they will scan in color. Uh, the blue, the 100 series, do have an add-on camera if, if color scanning is important to you. And the key thing back to the uh, 100 series and even the 75 is if you look at the accuracy, there is nothing else uh, on the market in a hemispherical scanner that gets even close to the accuracy and the quality of data from the surfacer. So looking at the SR, um, basically 24 microns at 4 meters. Now in English, that's about uh, a thousandth of an inch at 13 feet. That's the accuracy of the scanner. So very, very high accuracy. And then if you look at the IR, uh, you're about three thousandths of an inch at about 33 feet. So again, very, very good accuracy in a non-contact 3D scanning system. So this is just a good overview of all the different current models uh, available uh, uh, on the market today. You can see the scanning rate is up to um, uh, 1.2 million points per second, depending on the scanner. So again, just a good overview of the current systems. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the scan data uh, in more detail and also talk about uh, the applications um, uh, of you know where you would use this. So as you see here, this is a large aircraft and you can see this is the raw scan data and you can see the quality of it. And this has actually been decimated down quite a bit um, just to make the uh, modeling process go easier. But, uh, you know, this is what the raw scan data looks like. So very high quality. This hasn't been smoothed or massaged. It's really just been decimated down to a smaller polygon count. But very high quality, very high accuracy. And then what you see here is the final CAD model. Now keep in mind, to go from raw scan data to CAD data uh, is not a push-button operation. It can take days to weeks to months, depending on what you're working at. But this is the final delivery, which is a full-blown feature-based solid model of this entire aircraft. Now, one other thing, too, when we're doing uh, you know, objects this large, 
Uh, sometimes we will, uh, in the scanning process, integrate uh, using what's called a laser tracker. A laser tracker uh, takes single points at very high accuracy, and we will set up those spheres uh, with some uh, what's called SMR nests and uh, laser track all those points first and then align the data to that. So we're not going to go into detail here today in this video for that, but uh, just keep that in mind. The Surfacer actually can be integrated with other measuring equipment for even higher accuracy. So this here is a uh, industrial application for the Surfacer. We're actually down about 60 feet uh, scanning a large uh, industrial uh, pedestal that you see here uh, that has to be very accurately reverse engineered. Um, so again, it's nice to have the portability, the Wi-Fi, the battery power to go down in some remote, very tight uh, uh, locations and do the 3D scanning. As we mentioned, uh, vehicles like large military vehicles is another great application for the Surfacer. Uh, you can see here, these are some land assault vehicles. We actually scanned five variants of them and completely CAD modeled them inside and out. Uh, here you can see uh, three of them, the uh, final CAD models. Inspection is another great use of the Surfacer for large objects. Uh, what you see here is a, a large uh, impeller, uh, about a four foot uh, diameter. And then this here is the actual raw scan data. And then what we do is we import the CAD model, uh, do an alignment with the two, and then we can do all kinds of inspection. Uh, here you see just an accuracy color map, but we could do full GD&T and any dimensional measurements we want. Another great use for the uh, Surfacer is things like buildings, structures, uh, artwork, uh, things like that. Here you see we're doing some uh, large pillars. Uh, we scanned the entire site and then uh, put the Surfacer on a lift and uh, got up uh, tall to get uh, you know very high detail uh, of the uh, capital. So we did a full 3D scan of this historic site. A lot of times this is used for uh, anything from reproduction to uh, inspection and uh, or just digital archiving. Okay, so just to wrap up, the Surfacer Hemispherical 3D Scanner is a very high resolution, high accuracy 3D scanner typically used for larger uh, objects such as industrial equipment, uh, aircraft, vehicles, marine, etc. Uh, it's very easy to use, it's very portable, and there's really no other product on the market that can do what the Surfacer 3D scanner does.